Welcome back, Love Nation. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel. Like this video, share this video, and hit that notification bell so you know when I drop my next one. Today we are going to try to get into this mess and commentate on Nicki Minaj versus Meg The Stallion. This entire situation went all the way to the left as of a few days ago when Meg The Stallion dropped her single Hiss. And basically, Hiss was basically her just basically talking about everybody that she feel like has been disrespecting her over the last few years, etc., etc. Nicki Minaj was one of them. Some people are saying that Drake also got in there. Somebody said she was throwing strays at Rihanna. Whatever the case might be, we're just going to get into what happened with Nicki. Then we will be talking about Tiana Taylor and that hot mess in a moment. So let's just get back to Nicki. Nicki basically, I guess, heard that single hiss from Meg The Stallion and literally... The feud that has just been brewing um, over the past year or so definitely came to a head as Nikki took to her social media and was putting a lot of her receipts out there, including the fact that she believed Meg the Stallion um, enjoys to be with other people, men, and um, a lot of other stuff. I've had to actually leave a lot out of this video because I did not want to get it flagged. But I'm sure a lot of you saw a lot of those receipts on social media. Now, while Meg the Stallion did not come back on to respond, Nikki has been going in on her literally the last 15 or so hours, basically saying a lot, including that she didn't even care that she wanted to have a baby with her husband and some other mess. So, I'm going to say this. I'm watching all this with a lot of curiosity. You guys can pause these receipts to read them. At this point, I think people have um, their sides in this situation. Um, and I'm just going to say that, that this is, this is just craziness. This is just craziness. Um, I know that people like the rap beefs, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I think that there's probably a lot more concerning this situation that has not actually been said because I'm going to tell you the truth. I think that, uh, this, a, a lot of this went below the belt. A lot of this literally went uh, below uh, the belt. And I think there's a lot of things that probably might end up coming out about this. Nikki has been retweeting, reposting stuff. Um, here's some lyrics from uh, Megan Thee Stallion's ex party. Again, you guys can pause it if you want to see those lyrics. Uh, this whole situation is a mess. Now, Nikki is actually still online and is hinting at a huge diss record coming very soon. And I think a lot of people will be waiting for that. Um, honestly, I'm not even going to pick a side in this. I'm just watching the mess. Seriously, I'm just watching the mess. Um, my... My honest opinion about this, I really wish that none of this mess happened in the first place. However, that's neither here nor there. Um, social media and fans and, you know, who started this, who started that, you know, is going to keep perpetrating this situation unless somebody just literally get offline and, you know, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, but anyway, um, this is definitely going to keep going. I think this is, might actually keep escalating. And like I said, it's only the first month of the year. Um, <laughs> this is a mess. This is really sad in my opinion. 
I, I think that both of them are too grown for this, but um, that's neither here nor there at this point concerning this specific beef. Now we're going to get into Tiana Taylor and Iman Shepard drama. Before I share my opinion about Iman deciding not to pay the utilities and letting, you know, water and gas and stuff get shut off at the house, I'm about to play this uh, interview that Tiana Taylor did a few years ago that is still cringeworthy to this day. I made a previous video about it. And then I'm going to come back with my commentary. My own album together. Right. Uh, menage a trois, if you will. Uh, mom walked out. She didn't want to hear this part Yo, of the conversation. Bye, mom. Bye, mom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. um, this has happened in the relationship? Do you encourage... Well, let me ask you this. I I'm assuming that it happened. Um, is this something that uh, you guys have done frequently? And having menage a trois? No, nah, that's what I'm saying. I think I think that's that's the mix up. You know what I'm saying? People hear it and think that it's like a thing where it's like every day we just taking bitches down. Like that's that's not that. It just be those times where like we just like if we on vacation, mm. like our anniversary, like you know what I'm saying? Like it's just certain times where like, you know, like in the beginning, I I I wanted to try it. Like I said, I'm Dora the Explorer. Mm. Like, Bob, backpack, shorts, t-shirt, like, yeah. That's like, not I'm, what Dora's about. I know that's not what Dora's about, and I feel I mean, so she, bad. Well, she's Julie, 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 Julie just knows. Julie knows. Once you start watching Dora, it's not about that. And I feel, and I feel so bad. But it's like, sometimes when, when people hear it three-way, they think it's a thing of, like, you doing it to keep your husband, or you doing it because you giving him what he wants. And it's like, how you... What if it's my idea? What if I want to do it? What if I just yes, enjoy that? You know what I'm saying? Like, Which you should. You know what I'm saying? And it's just the like, at do. the end of the day, whether, like, the same way we all have our different beliefs. Like, if you feel like you don't want to do that, like, that's on you. But don't compare my marriage to yours and say, like, well, I, I already know how I get down. The girl going to get comfortable, and then she going to start seeing him by herself? <laughs> Baby, you... What you been through? Well, tell me how you really feel. Like, that sounds like some shit that you personally going through, but don't compare my shit to yours. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's absolutely uh -huh. fair. Yeah, don't compare my shit to yours because majority, a lot of the things that we do, really, it blows my husband's mind. Like, he just be like, hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really be me. And it's because I find him, it, it, like, it's my husband, and I feel like I'm already a very sexual person. So it was like, just us as boyfriend and girlfriend, the sex was already crazy. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, when you're married and this is the person that you vowed to be with for the rest of your life, like till death do us part, and you you are extremely attracted to them, they are extremely sexy to you, you want to explore. Like, yes, I'm going to be Dora, and you have to be Diego because <laughs> I... <laughs> Keep going back. Though. I want to explore. I'm curious, George. Like, I, I'm, I want to see... How many children... You know... Um... Okay, so we just got out of that, um, and I'm going to say this, and I'm definitely not saying this to be mean. I'm saying this to be, hopefully, a learning circle of empowerment for any woman or man listening to this video. While her utilities are now cut off, and it's 20 degrees outside, I'm sure he's out doing his Door of the Explorer with another woman in a place that has hot water, lights, and heat. This is exactly why you should not be trying to get wrapped up losing your identity with people that you're dealing with. When it comes down to it and stuff start hitting the fan and you start seeing how this person actually is, this is what you're going to be left with. And it's sad. How in the world can you call yourself a man and he's made millions of dollars playing with the Cavaliers? Iman is not broke. And you can't even call in the water, light, or gas bill. Um, Tiana Taylor has went on record saying that her utilities have been shut off and it's 20 degrees at her house. And this is a whole situation where, again, I feel 
He's doing this to hurt the children. He's doing this to hurt her. And this is just got awful sad. There was so much time spent in public with this relationship where people were talking about them in these Dora the Explorer side quests that they used to do. And the sad thing is the minute that he left her, I'm sure he's out with somebody and they got hot water and they got lights and they got the gas on. Look at how he is treating her. Now, I think that this particular situation is just all the way below the belt spiritually. Ain't nobody going to hurt more in the situation in the end besides their children. You never leave your identity to be chasing after a man. I feel so bad for them kids. I feel so bad that all this information is coming out concerning this divorce. This is just getting absolutely nasty. I'm going to try to stay up on top of this situation, you guys. Leave your comments below respectfully. Tell me what you think. Till next time, enjoy your evening. Bye, guys.